evening, Mr Gorman. It's so lovely to be joined by you here at the gala concert this evening. Now, you are the father of Samuel Gorman, who is singing in tonight's uh, concert after Interval, I believe. And, right. and he's got an amazing voice, absolutely amazing. He's obviously put a lot of hours into training it. He has. Thank you, Brigitte. Yes, um, we're very proud of that voice. It, um, it doesn't come from me, I'm afraid to say. You have a very good radio voice. I could... <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Not a good singing voice, though. So, um, yes, so Samuel is, uh, Samuel is a good singer and we, we love to hear him. He is hesitant to sing in front of us, although walking past the shower in the morning and the evening, you do get to hear him at his best. Well, you must practice at some point, That's even if it's not when he thinks that people aren't listening. <laughs> it's right. actually, um, his voice is so, um, it's very unique, but he's also trained it at such a high level now that it, it opens doors for him. Yes. In a way, beyond high school. Yes, we we're hoping really so. Be at the Opera House. Well, one day, one day perhaps, yes. Um, well, he's... Um, he has coaching with, with Phil, with Phil Pratt, so um, he's obviously a wonderful teacher and has given him a, an enormous amount of additional help with the singing. Fantastic. And, I mean, Sam now has been part of Trinity. He's in his final year at school, and you've seen him sort of from the very beginning all the way through now being part of the creative arts. What would you say are some of your favourite memories of Sam here at Trinity with the various things that he's performed in and, and done? Um, there have been many um, from quite some time ago to, to very recently. So one of the early highlights was when he and another boy in year six, I think it was, sang The Lord is My Shepherd at the Centenary concert. Um, and then more recent times there was the I think it was the 2017 gala when he sang a solo, which was really, really special. Um, and of course, for those who saw it, who could forget his um, his performance as the Major General Incredible. in the Pirates of Penzance last year. Yeah, Fantastic. that was a highlight for us. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and I'm sure for him as well. It would have sure been, for yeah. him. Watching that sort of metamorphosis from all the way through to Year 12, would you would you say it's provided him with different sort of benefits in terms of him as a person? Like, mm. has it brought him confidence, or yeah. Uh, yeah. how has it changed him? As a person or developed him as a person? It's a good question. Well, I think um, one of the things that um, he's developed has been that confidence, and especially when your voice is your instrument, I think. He did play the cello earlier on, but he's given that up, and he's performed um, at, in front of some fairly large crowds, as he will this evening. And I think it, it's, it's quite daunting when there's nothing in front of you but the audience and you just have to sing. Um, and I recall him at one of the solo competitions he did a couple of years ago that the judge actually made mention of that and um, said what a difficult thing it was to do. So to do it and do it well, I think, gives someone great confidence. Absolutely. Mm. Absolutely. And I mean, that's confidence that you can use in any profession I think so. that you yes. turn to in the future. That's right. Yeah, it's wonderful. Yeah. Charlie, thank you so much for talking to us this evening. We really look forward to Sam's performance after Interval and um, we wish him all the very best uh, for his HSC and beyond. Great. Yeah. Thanks. Appreciate it.